Okay, so I got my new camera and it isn't making me as happy as I'd like it to. I put this silicone thing on it for protection because this camera was over $500. Yeah, over $500 for this stinking camera. I sent the other one out to be repaired and it's, you know, it's getting repaired. That one was over $500. So, I got all this money going on in these stupid cameras. I don't like the older GoPros. Um, I have a Hero 2, which is kind of what put the squash on me actually using the GoPro. Uh, I, I thought the quality was just terrible. Um, Timothy runs GoPros and he likes them. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of trying the 5 again and uh, you know seeing if that works out for me uh, just on some of these weird shots that I got to make and I got some uh, I got some travel travel news I guess travel news not that I'm traveling much right now uh, but after I get after I get this job done this haymaking job done I've got this harebrained idea that I'm going to go do something rather different than what you're used to seeing. Uh, not really that expensive to do it. Uh, I have some experience in it and uh, I just want to kind of brush up on those skills and uh, you know go from there. Hopefully you know it'll be fun and I'll announce what it is later when I'm sure that I'm gonna do it. You know it is kind of dangerous but fun. Uh, but anyway uh, back to the problems that I have on a daily basis, and that is making hay this time of year. I know the video I posted yesterday has Hurricane Jose. You can still see it. This is 24 hours later than what you saw on yesterday's video, and it's still out there. It's still churning away, headed up to New England from what I can see. Um, but... The problems that I'm having right now is actually getting this hay on the ground, getting it dried out because the ground is saturated. You saw that shit that I had to re-mow or mow up off the ground, and it's just not its just not helping me out any here. Um, I still have somewhere around a thousand plus acres of first cutting to do, plus all the second cutting that I have to do, plus all the gifted hay that I have to deal with, you know, I have to do that. And I should probably make that phone call now and go down and see this ground so that I can get it taken care of. Um, I'm going to have Timothy go ahead and change out these blades on this. I'm going to see if I can get Carl to run another load today because I'm just behind. I'm, I'm just so far behind in hauling hay and everything else. I need two more loads to another barn this, you know, this week and I've only got tomorrow to do it, but I'm trying to bail hay and trying to get hay on the ground. You know, it's just this insane thing. So, what I'm, uh, because the hay is so thick and damp on the bottom side, um, you know, these blades, a lot of people will be like, oh, these blades are perfectly fine. They, they look okay. This one here has got a bit of a nick out of it, which actually allows it to cut a little better. Um, but, I'm going to have Timothy flip it. I'm going to have Timothy flip these so that the sharp edges forward and get these dull ones gone. Look at that. Why is that like that? You, you notice that? I mean, really, come on. That thing is so freaking close. That's got to be hitting. Why is that thing like that, to be honest with you? I have no clue, but... That's the direction. They just kind of passes them along. Maybe they're supposed to be that close. I don't know. But, uh, what a pain in the ass. Uh, you start getting chipped up blades and stuff, and that's just the way it is. Uh, mowed yesterday. I don't know. I mowed close to 100 acres yesterday. Dad mowed every bit as much as that. He's into some really heavy stuff right now. And uh, he's loading Carl's truck up, and we're just going to have to get on to... Uh, you know the next thing and the next thing is going to be Teresa's coming she's going to start tedding hay uh, yeah she's going to ted hay and I'm going to 
I'm going to go mow, but i got to have Tim flip these blades before I do that. So, anyways, on to the next, right? On to the next. Alright, so we have uh, got this thing pretty much ready to go. Timothy, what are you doing over there, Tim? Did I... What? There's a what? Well, that's not on fire. Well, right there there was. Where? Well, I don't see nothing. Yeah, I guess it was on fire. Would you know that? Wouldn't that be something? Burn the damn thing up over that. Oh, that's not good. How the hell did they get up there? Yeah, they must have flew up somewhere. Um, don't be doing that sort of thing to my machine. You start bending shit. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I've sharpened this up. Um, we're just going over it for the morning till we get going. I like to make serrations in these blades, but today I just sharpened them. Uh, I was going to flip them, but the, they're pretty rough on both sides. Uh, you know, you're all, we're constantly cutting really low to the ground, so we've got we really actually have to we really have to be uh, you know pretty vigilant as to how these blades go because this is what I like to do. There's a serration I've created here, one, two, three. And they actually stay sharp a lot longer as they wear. So that works out pretty good. Uh, I've done all of them now and we're just getting ready to go. I got problems with the 7410 so I'm gonna have to go order parts which is never any good. Um, I just It's just never any good. I'll show you what it is. There's a steering wheel on the ground. Okay, so what has happened here is the screws fell out of this thing, which is the collar that is supposed to keep this right here, like right here. And this has fallen, and my left-hand reverser has broken off like that. So this is not a good deal. I got a feeling that this piece here is going to cost like a thousand freaking dollars. I just got this stupid feeling. So... I'm going to take it apart and see what the cast part is. I may be able to get this from, uh, say, Wangers of Myerstown. Wangers, Wengers. What is that? There's a part number there. RE152435. There it is. I'm going to have to check that out. So this is what this is. I can't load hay with this machine until that gets fixed. So we're down to the skid steer or even that international loader until I get those parts. But, oh well. So Tim's going to get oil into this thing and I'm going for parts. I'm going for some parts. Come on, there we go. Oh, kind of cruising now. Uh, this hay is really, really thick from what it was uh, three years ago when I first acquired this piece of ground. I put a lot of potash and other fertilizers on here just to get it up and going the way it's supposed to. This is mulch hay. Uh, I did put a 2,4-D product on here, 2,4-D and Banville, to keep the weeds down. They would have been, it would have looked like that right there if I hadn't. So I think that the control was pretty good. Uh, for mulch hay, doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit here as I'm mowing about a comment that I got a couple of days ago. Uh, it was not a negative comment, so all you trolls can just sit back and relax a little bit. It was actually a comment of, hey, you know, I, you and Tim used to make videos where you guys were having fun, and I miss those videos. You know, i got to agree with you to a point. Uh, I'm not having that much fun lately. Um, or maybe it's just not making it on the camera, you know, I don't know. Uh, Timothy and I are going in different directions most days on the farm. You know, I'm either mowing or he's mowing or, you know, I'm bailing and he's stacking on another place. It's just been a really tough year this year to for him to keep up to me and get ahead. And as far as having fun, you know, I love to have fun. Don't get me wrong here. Hold on a second. I'm going to cross this ditch. As a matter of fact, you probably can watch me cross this ditch. It's not really a ditch. It's a, well, it's a ditch. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I'm actually cutting this right to the ground because it needs to be 
cut that low because it's it's actually falling over. It's flattened out. Um, but anyways, you're right. I'm not having that much fun lately. Um, just trying to get through the year. Uh, trying to get as much hay as I can get made before winter hits us. We are, it is September 20, God knows what. I think it's the 22nd or the 23rd today. I guess I could look on my phone and see what's it say. Today is the 22nd. So, yeah, I, uh, I can honestly say that this has been one of the most stressful years that I've had in about six or seven years as far as making hay. Uh, the crop is here because of the weather. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's, there's plenty of hay here to be had. It's just the problem is getting it made. Yes, getting the hay made. It's hard. Uh, I know a lot of guys out west have been dry and, uh, you know, to my south, they've actually had some drier weather. Uh, they're not complaining about it, but they're... Oh, Jesus. I'm complaining about it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this hay, you know, made. And as late as it is, it isn't fun. It's going to take twice as long to dry out. It's going to take... Uh, oh, I don't have the help that I would normally have in the summertime because, you know, the kids are back at school. Uh, Joseph comes after school. Haley doesn't come at all anymore. I barely see her. Uh, but the, uh, you know, Timothy, he's doing his thing. I'm um, hauling hay. Uh, Carl has had an operation on his eyeball, so he's out probably for a couple of, a couple three days. I don't know. He'll be out. Dad's getting older, which is, you know, he's going to be 70 here in April, so he's slowing down. His knees are bad, and he can't do what he used to do. And, you know, Cody, he's off to school again, and everything that we could have gotten done while the, uh, you know, while it was summertime is now going to have to get done sometime between now and uh, frozen, snowy, crappy weather. Now, uh, another thing that's been going on that's very stressful is there was a bidding process that I just had to deal with, and unfortunately, I lost about 200 acres of hay ground to but anyway, I think I'm off track here about being happy. You know, that, that does drag you down. It drags you down, takes, the, takes your morale away. Uh, I did pick up another piece that I didn't intend to pick up. I threw a bid out there. The last guy that bid on it, he bid over $50. So I figured, you know what? Maybe he won't bid, and I'll bid that 40 bucks. And sure enough, the day that he didn't bid on it, and I got it. So I was pretty happy with that. You know, that's what I do. If somebody I know is bidding on it, I'll take what they bid on it the year before, drop it by 10 bucks, and see if I, you know, snag any of the of the ground. So apparently, I snagged that ground because he didn't bid on it. What are you gonna do? But anyway, I guess I've talked enough.